hello once again everybody so i am currently about to prepare the boxes for my clients and i thought i'd share with you the products that are my fave of the bunch that i've purchased this week i bought this pair of castania sandals and i actually scored a discount for my clients on this one it is a pair of wedge espadrille sandals they look like that and I think they're just lovely. The shade's very, very cute for the summer and springtime. And they're just comfortable for all day around, breathable. It's a great brand altogether. Also scored a discount on another pair of Castagna sandals for another client. Now these ones are in the light creamy shade. And all my clients that I've gotten Castagna for, they always say they live on that during the summertime and that doesn't surprise me. I do as well, although I'm more partial to a flat shoe. But when you want a little bit of something elevated, still a look that is kind of like casual and cute, that is a great statement piece. This mesh dress, which I found for another one of my clients, it's a really cute sort of long sleeve bottle green piece with a little bit of a ruching on the sleeve so it's going to give a little bit of a detail at the top shirt collar which is always exquisite and then it's also going to have a little bit of an extra fabric flick at the bottom to kind of give it a skater or almost a line shape it comes with a matching belt in that same shade and what i was telling my client was you might as well just take this out and use it as a twilly to tie in your hair, in your wrist, in your ankle, or even around your handbag's handle. And then use that as a piece to kind of like marry um, and just make the whole outfit be a little bit more cohesive. Then you can always add a leather belt or anything else, even if you have a silk scarf that would look lovely with a piece like this. Another purchase I really enjoyed finding for a client was this one right here and it's going to have a lot going on while still remaining something that's on the classier end of things. So it's a piece that's going to have the tweed in here. There's also going to be a little bit of a rhinestone detail going at the borders. I hope you get to see that. The buttons have some detailing as well. There's the denim contrasting with the tweed and it's something that you can marry with a myriad of colors. You can obviously wear it with denim, you can obviously wear it with all the shades that she finds in the tweed and she's going to be able to marry it as well with a lovely white pair of trousers. Last little hack that I advised my client for this one is that it's something that she's going to be able to wear as a dress and as as a little extra coat as well. Another cute mesh find in here this week was this lovely tweed coat. It's going to have all of these different buttons that all have something going on. There's a little tiger, a little star, another sort of tiger or dragon in there. Some are silver, some are yellow gold, and it still remains something on the sober end of things. So very Parisian by nature and yeah, just a lovely piece altogether. I also saw something else from Louis Vuitton. This one's going to have a lovely embroidery and it's something that can look really, really cool inside of a denim pair of trousers as well as a more formal pair of trousers. And she can pick any of the colors on the embroidery of the t-shirt. Now I purchased a couple more products, but I do have to let you go because I need to get those boxes done so I can go have a little drink with Javi later today. I'm just super loin là. Là, oui. Hello everybody. So just a quick little outfit of the day. This is what I was wearing when I was making the boxes for my clients earlier, but you might have only seen the upper part. So this was part of my haul. It is a little set by the brand called Sœur. And what I got is the little shirt matching the top. I have my orange sandals by a mess, and then I have my little Birkin with the new twillies. And sunnies are by Victoria Beckham, which I got in London last year with my friend Andrea when we went to see Rolling Stones. So I have really, really lovely memories from this one. So it's a little bit of a like, sort of military outfit, I would say, but I'm quite loving it today for our little Sunday date night with husband. Okay, 
are back from our little Sunday date and I want to get all of my makeup removed with you. So as per usual, I'm starting off by applying a little bit of the micellar water by Bioderma over a cotton pad for removing that sort of first layer of makeup. This has been a staple over me for years and years and years. I'm already on my pajama and tonight I'm getting taken care of because husband is making me a new recipe. So he said he's going to do some sort of like new revisited recipe of pesto. If there's still lovely lighting, I will show it to you. Alternatively, I'll perhaps just share a little picky of it. But if anything, the ingredients he described on it sounded delicious. So I really can't wait to try his little dish. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use Intuit's cleansing lotion with NAD plus is going to fight the radical obviously remove light makeup so that's why i use it as my second cleanse and it's also going to add anti-aging properties to my routine which is something i've been really really into lately particularly after having found like a nice balance between the products that i use and sort of the lifestyle i live regarding skincare because before my main concern used to be all of that redness i used to get particularly during the COVID um, period with having to wear the mask etc. I had really bad rashes next to my face and on my chin and now I just get that little spot in there. Having learned how to sort of deal with all of that has allowed me to focus a little bit more on other skincare concerns which can be anti-aging in this case today. I'll try to do something anti-aging perhaps three to four times a day a week and then the other three nights a week I'll do something that's perhaps like glowing based. I love the way this smells. It's just absolutely delicious. It smells like being on a super luxurious lovely spa. For the next layer of my cleansing step or for the next step of my cleansing routine what I'm gonna do is apply two pumps of, of this uh, this AC product. I'll rub it between my hands. They actually need to be a little bit wet. So let me just get a little bit of water in there. There we go. And then I'm going to mousse that all, all over my face. You'll probably have seen me done this on Instagram quite a lot. And I don't do that step every single day, like as a third step. But on days when I know I'm a little bit more acne prone because my hormones are a little bit um, funkier, I'll make sure that I don't skip this step and then after just two days of doing that plus something else I use from Herb and Plora my little visitors stay at bay and then I can maintain it to like just a one visitor in here for like two days and I like to think that if I let it sit in there for like a couple of seconds and just sort of like really massage it in it's gonna have a nicer effect I don't know if that's needed or not but that's the way I like to do it and then after I'll just rinse it off. There we go. All of the makeup rinsed off. And I am ready for a little vintage. Oh no, what am I saying? I still need to apply my my creams and stuff. Okay, let's see. I just I can't wait to do a little vintage on sunset on the little home screen theater downstairs. Um but okay, let's see what else do we need to apply? What am I doing today? Skincare concerns are this one right here and I'm going to continue on the anti-aging vibe in here and I'm going to apply the Herb and Flora Eye of the Cyclops eye cream which is my absolute favorite eye cream to wear and I like to apply that one on the orbital bone. I know I should be using my ring finger but I'll either do it with the majeure like the middle one or the the ring finger as long as I don't do it very hard that's all right and then whatever's left on my fingers I like to apply in here and make sure those fine lines in there that I have because I love so much are not as noticeable I particularly love this product because it's helped me get rid of dark under eye circles not all of us get them some of us do those of you who do this cream does wonders for that with the asparagus as extract that there's in it and there's also a really, really lovely effect on fine lines. And then for my face skincare treatment, I'm going to do the Intuit NAD Plus cream today. And I'll do two pumps of that and apply that all over the rest of my face and my neckline. So always with upward movements, that's going to help circulation or at least that's what I've been told. And then 
I'll apply that to the rest of my face. I particularly love this cream because when I wake up, I feel like extremely rehydrated. It is also an anti-aging cream and it's going to help reduce the appearance of fine lines. It helps with skin cell regeneration and rejuvenation. But personally, I love that it just gives me a sort of like instant glow. So I kind of like look cute now for dinner <laughs> on PJs. There we go. So that will be it for tonight on the vlog and I'll probably see you either tomorrow again or in Paris. I actually have a very nice gift to go pick from the Couples this week at one of their boutiques in Paris. So I'm gonna see if it's possible that I take you with me. And yeah, it's actually quite a busy week, but I'm gonna see what moments I get to take my camera off and show you what's Good going on. Good morning, everybody. So I received a couple of packages and I thought I'd open them up with you. Now, this first one is by Brand Sir. I've been obsessed with this brand. Two silk scarves. This was I find particularly lovely to style during this time of the year when it's kind of chilly in the morning and chilly at the evening and then during the day you can still get away with wearing just the dress. So this first one is going to be a silk square like that. I particularly love the texture in the silk in there. I think that's really really nice and it will add a little bit of light to an otherwise darker outfit. Other one is kind of like a true Auvergne shade, like a really nice eggplant purple that I think will also marry really, really nicely with the warmer tones in my wardrobe. Now, this next package in here is by a brand called Scarosso. And I initially set out to get myself a pair of Loro Piana summer walks, but they didn't have them in my size. And so Google suggested this brand. I did a little bit of research in it and ended up being that it looked quite lovely. I ordered myself a pair of their Ludovica, the model, moccasins. Oh. This is what they'll look like. So they're an all leather navy, which I think will marry really, really lovely with one of my handbags and belt. I wanted something that's kind of on the like nicely put together, but still very comfortable because when I'm shopping around in Paris for clients, I need to run from one meeting to another, from one life to the other. And sometimes sneakers can be more comfortable, especially since I had a knee injury. But in all honesty, I don't love running around in sneakers, even if it's like a very Parisian thing to do. Uh, I'd still prefer something a little bit more put together. So I'm going to give this one a test drive on this week's Paris trip, which I'm living in 15 minutes and I should hurry up this vlog. And yeah, I'll let you know how I get along with them. Hopefully they'll be a comfortable option for like walking around, especially with a nice holiday trip coming up. This one's will probably be something comfortable as well for an everyday look. everybody and welcome back so we are now in Paris and we're actually uh, what we are doing now is we are selecting the jewelry for Ascot so earlier we were selecting the hat in the other blog and now we are selecting the um, jewelry for it and we're thinking of going perhaps for like a low bun and then the asymmetrical hat towards one side and then this absolutely magnificent handmade piece right here we also have a ring that might match. Now I have in here another one of Cecile's ones. Now this one is particularly interesting because you have the flower, which looks like it's coming out of your ear, if you put it that way. Probably now you can see the effect better of the flower, almost like coming out from the inside of your ear. And then if you play with them, you can obviously put it on the other side, turn it around, and then you're gonna get a whole different effect. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all doing super, super well. So today, 
I don't know if I ended up explaining, but yesterday I was very kindly invited to Cécile Bocara's atelier. She is actually a jewelry maker and more than a jewelry maker, she's an artisan of jewelry. So it's an haute couture artisan. She will do pieces for houses of the likes of Dior. She's been doing this for, I believe it's over 20 years now, if I'm not mistaken. And she has her atelier here in Paris. And so I was invited to it in order to pick some pieces for the upcoming Ascot races, which will be super, super lovely. And we ended up going for some floral massive arrangements. We were thinking of doing something perhaps uh, with a little bit of a symmetry where one ear is covered and then the other one has like a large statement piece, particularly because I will also be using a hat and so it would make more sense to have perhaps like just a one piece on the one side instead of doing the earrings and the hat and the dress and just everything super symmetric. I do love a little bit of a symmetry as we know <laughs> when it comes to ear detailings. After that meeting that you saw yesterday I went to pick up some goodies for a couple of clients. I did in a beautiful live and found some other goodies for other clients and then um, just came home and I think just dozed off. I was actually with my friend Nat yesterday. We had a lovely girly chat and then dozed off completely. Today's agenda, what I'll be doing is I'll be visiting the team of Histoire d'Or, a jewelry brand also here in Paris. They're doing the press day of their new collection. And so we're gonna go discover that together. Finally, I've been invited to pick myself a piece of the latest spring summer collection by the Coupleus. So this is gonna be fun. It's a brand I really enjoy. They have that super rock and roll side to them, which speaks to me a mile. I really cannot wait to go and see what pieces they have in stock and what we'll be picking. I'll probably take you there with me as well. 